Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Zoldek. Today, we're gonna speak about the TED target. You're gonna see at the end of this video, there's a moment you're gonna see. It's one of those crazy moments that happen almost only in OPR, where you're like one versus like eight or ten. It's like you hold it as much as you can, and then you still manage to do it somehow. I love it so you see i don't know what it's gonna look like um the thing that i'm the most scared about is the immersion you see mostly for old player like me like i started to play since the start of the game uh, when i play new world i get in this world to have immersion just to almost not feel the reality anymore just get in this world do my stuff and forget everything and I get so much immersion in this game, it's one of the main thing that New World can bring to you. And what happened is, if you put some tab target, it's not only me that's gonna do tack 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 and, and do that on the people, like, not only myself gonna do that and it's gonna break just a bit my immersion, but I'm gonna do PvP against some people who are just gonna flip on themselves so quick. But it's not gonna look the same my brain it's not gonna take the information the same thing like i don't care that much about the gameplay it's more like uh, about what the the essence of new world you see like if i want to play a tad target game i'm almost better to go on throne and liberty or like uh, world of warcraft as example like the, the reason why New World has such an appeal to me is because it's non tab target. I like aiming. You can see most of my videos on this channel are Call of Duty. I'm a dude who like aiming. Like I like to, to feel the skill and have the satisfaction when I do my kill. You see what I mean? It's really important for me. But I, I've played World of Warcraft during years and years and utters MMO with tab target. So. You're gonna put me a tree ability tab target, bro. I'm just gonna like be even better. Like the, the tree ability tab target to me, it's like, bro. I'm used to play World of Warcraft. I, I play like if it was a piano, man. Like I, my my one to ten uh, key are binded to an ability, and then I have like Q E F R Z C, and then I have more key on my mouse. I have like twenty key for spell and then i have my movement the jump the only thing that they don't have is the 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 dodge like the stamina management but if you add stamina management like ability it's just one ability like so if you count the ability in your world there's the ultimate ability uh, then there's the tree weapon ability and then you have um, the dodge and the jump so it's your five ability and if you swap weapon you're gonna have three other ability but still you still have at a time you still have three ability and if you swap weapon you have three other but it's not a big deal there's a lot of stuff like that in another game you get in a berserker mod and you get a ability or whatever it's nothing new to that uh, it, you have five to six ability or something and in world of warcraft you have like 20 plus so yeah, uh, this is how it be. I don't care that much. I, I really hope it's gonna be just uh, aim assist, uh, soft aim assist like in Call of Duty. I'm pretty sure everyone would be happy about this. And everyone like on controller, you can have some aim assist, soft aim assist and it goes good. Like I know the devs of New World have no ends. The, the devs of New World have like no finger. They play like this on their keyboard or something. So you see, they are some of the most trash players you're gonna ever see. The devs of New World, uh, when they did the, the mutation system, they was not even able to pass it. And us, the, the just the main gamer, on the first two weeks, we passed it to mutation 10. It just makes no sense to me. And then, after years and years that the game is still out, they still cannot achieve the end 10 by themselves, like with a GF, GN team. So yeah yeah like they are trash at the game and this is what they put you uh tap target on controller but you you would not need it on your world like in your world it's not a game where you're supposed to need it and uh yeah 
All right, so uh, the fluidity of all the combat, like I said, there's people are gonna spin around like this. Uh, I think it's gonna change a bit the, how the, the fight are gonna be, but the main thing that I'm scared of is the hacker control. Okay, right now it's not too hard. If you see a hacker in your world, it's not happening a lot. But when it's happening, you, you see it, the hacker is just doing this, like he's spinning almost, and then he's doing most of the time just headshot and using a musket like. So now with this, the Tataria is just going to be harder to find the hacker because everyone's going to just spin with their musket in the middle of the map and shoot people. Uh, as a melee, as you can see in the Souls game, you don't need uh, that much tap target. Like, you're gonna use it sometime, and sometime you're gonna take it off. It, when you take uh, the tap target off in Souls game, sometimes you can dodge some ability of the boss with just jumping. You don't even need to dodge anymore because most of the mechanics are made for you to be tap targeted and stuck like this in, in front of the boss. And when you take off the tap target, finally you have the freeform camera that you can move around like you want but when you are stuck like this and you rotate around a boss it's kind of hard and it's the same when you approach a pack of mob you want to hit the most mob at, at the same time as possible and then the mob that you are tab targeting gonna go on the side so you're not gonna hit the pack of mob anymore so having the tab target while hitting a pack of mob can be really bad i think so the boss fight is gonna be fine, but even then, like I said, boss fight, you sometimes to have an easier dodge, it's better to just take it off. Uh, Blunder boss gonna be toxic, musket gonna be toxic. Uh, there's some ability in the game that's gonna be really cheesy, like the leaping strike. Imagine you have someone with a sword and shield running away from you, all right? And you're just chasing it and you're mage and you're having fun just pulling him while he run away. And that he's gonna flip on a fraction second on you with the tad target and then leaping strike on you. <laughs> Ooh, this is the end. Like when that happened, it's like you, you're gonna have not even a quarter of second to react to this. It's gonna be insane. There's gonna be some combo like this. You're gonna follow someone, you're just gonna turn on you and shield bash, like a perfect shield bash. Like, I know it's already possible to do it, but with this, I don't know, they're just gonna execute too quick. So, I'm gonna have some music in this video. So, if you guys want to hear more of this music, I'm gonna put a link into the description and into the comment section. So, yeah. Uh, just click if you really want to listen to music because I don't want just some random click on it. It's not my music, so yeah. Uh, dungeon mutation. Like I said, tap target off most of the time. Sometimes when it's small scale, it's gonna be easier or just some bigger mob that are like not in pack. But you take it off most of the time probably. Uh, I want you guys to rate New World Alternum on 1 to 10 because right now I think it's going to be like a 7 to 8 for me. Uh, do you think a new player like me, an uh, old player like me should make a fresh start account? I already have 3 accounts. Uh, do you think they're going to put another character? So I think they spoke about that. So maybe I'm going to make a new account but I'm not sure because with my old account what happened is I'm going to be able to uh, auto say that. I'm gonna be able to make the content quicker because I'm already gonna be 60 and then make some guide about the weapon, 725 weapon before other people. So I think I'm gonna do it like that. It's not sure though. I want more OPR map. Please give me more OPR map. Like at this point of the game, like. <laughs> okay. And 100 friend friend this. I'm pretty sure uh, the console gonna solve this problem because on console you have a friend list that is not a new world. But for the PC people, you they need to do something about the friend list. Uh, 100 friend friend list is just not enough for new world. The new world is a game with 50 player player per, per company. When you change company, you want to keep your old company as friend. So you're gonna keep at least 25 of them in your friend list, and you're fucked. 
So yeah, if you reach that far in the video, you're the best. I want you to tell someone you love him. Have a good day. Peace out. Oh, sick. Okay, let's help Dolbeck. Let's help Dolbeck. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Or maybe not. I got him, I got him, I got him. Nice, nice. I'm repairing structure, I'm repairing it, I'm repairing it. You can die. Getting the healer in the corner? Are you Dolbeck running the door over there? Oh, this is... The squishy is Silva in that clump. I'm a dead. Uh, burst them, burst them. Gonna repair. Oh, he took my resources. No, he didn't, he didn't. He's still there. Watch out. Dead. Yeah, yeah, it's the end. And they killed the respawn. Oh fuck, I'm hurting. Don is low. I just kill one in a 1v4.